Good morning, and welcome to another ironic introduction to another video. Uh, today, I am just continuing my exploration of uh, Act 4, Chapter 2, uh, and I actually noticed that I do think Ronin is an MVP for Act 4. Now, a lot of players, I think, uh, can clear Act 4 with just skill. I know you can do it with 3 stars um, that are max rank. I know that you can easily do it with 4 stars uh, if you're just a good player. Overall, the Act 4 is really just a lot of repetition. But what makes Act 4 really frustrating are, you know, what uh, Seton would deem fun and interactive uh, gameplay is these gambler's fates, right? So you have a random chance to essentially get poison, bleed, degeneration, um, and sometimes you get a buff, like you get regeneration or something, but for the most part, when you get like bleed at the start of the fight and you're kind of a new player and you're not, you know, burning them down really quickly, uh, you might find yourself being forced to use health potions uh, just because, you know, even if you play really well, uh, you just took so much passive damage just by playing. But Ronin has that ability to remove debuffs 100% chance by just switching into guard. So even though I start with my poison from Liquid Courage, I can just quickly get rid of that. And you can see that I actually got uh, fatigue here, right? Which is not the worst kind of debuff, but I'm just going to swing in and immediately remove that, right? So now my opponent, he also got a bad luck roll, um, but I don't even have to worry about negative nodes, which honestly makes act four so ridiculously easy because that's really what makes act four kind of tricky is sometimes you get like a bit of bad luck um and you might lose your top uh champion that you're utilizing to clear just to some uh really poor rng but with ronin here i don't even have to worry about that actually i would say it's the opposite these gamblers rolls are actually really beneficial for me um because it's so just good for me that I, I can essentially only get buffs, right? Like, uh, what I'm actually doing right now is just scouting out the set and see if I can afford to go inner for this small refill. So it looks like I need three more on the inside, but I need one, two, three, four, five, six on the outside. So I am going to just dive... No, it's a small energy refill. I'm actually going to clear the route so that in the future, if I need to take uh, an inside route for like a full energy refill, that might be really nice. But I'm just going to showcase again. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can get like a bleed or a poison node or something and show you really how uh, strong it is. One more thing that I'd really like to showcase is just how strong willpower is on this portion. Um, you can see I got power gain here, which is nice. But what, like willpower is a mastery, and at level one, right, one point into it, you get 0.5% of your health for every debuff on your character. And just having that means that if you were to get, you know, say, poison or the bleed from this one, you really don't have to worry about the damage as much. And that can really save you a lot of units in health potions. It can save you a lot of time in revives uh, if you're kind of like grinding those through the chapter completion. Uh, and I really think that optimizing your champion for sustain slash handling those gamblers nodes is really the best way to tackle act four um hopefully you don't have any problems with it i do know that for a lot of players act four is considered uh kind of like the step right before the game jumps into a hole like exponentially gets harder as act five is where that skill wall kind of occurs but if you are having trouble with act four um, definitely look at your rosters there are other champions that really kind of just curb the whole uh Act 4 Gambler's Mechanic, Hulk Ragnarok is a really good example, Ancient Venom uh, is a great example, Wolverine is a really good example. Um, any champion that is poison or bleed immune is solid to bring in just because it's one more um, debuff that you don't have to worry about passively taking damage. It's really not so bad to get weakness or fatigue or armor break. Um, they do make you do you know less damage or take more damage, but for the most part it can be counteracted with good gameplay. Uh, unfortunately, it's just that bleed, poison, and degeneration that if you get, you know, a bad luck roll there, the only thing you can do short of making sure your champion counteracts that is take willpower as a mastery to counteract that, that as well. Uh, one more thing, though, is if you do take willpower and you get armor debuff, weakness, uh, fatigue, those are actually feel really good because it's one more debuff on your list and you're actually gaining 0.5% of your health back over time. Um, I think it's every second. 
Uh, and so you can actually find yourself in a position where like your champion is kind of low health and you're like, oh, I have an armor debuff. So you'll just stall the fight out in order to essentially get a free health potion during the duration of the fight. Uh, that said, hopefully Act 4 isn't giving you troubles. I definitely, uh, I'm at the point where it's just re repetition. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you later.